Hi guys, I'm back again with another video um, and today I want to speak about one of my favourite oils I say that about all my oils um, but one of my favourite oils which is almond oil uh, Just as a disclaimer before I start um, excuse the hair uh, this isn't a braid out just in case you're wondering um, I actually washed my hair yesterday and I air dried it and then put it in a bun today before I went to work um, and I just braided, did a corner around the front, so that's why you can sort of see some curls in the front. But no, this is just my hair air dry. This isn't a braid out or anything. Almond oil is really rich in omega fatty acids and vitamin A, B, D and E. All vitamins known to really nourish and condition the hair for, for longer, fuller, thicker, healthier looking hair. Almond oil is a great oil for adding shine and a sleek feel to the hair. The high vitamin E content really helps to condition the hair and the oil also has a very smoothing quality to the hair, helping hair to lay flat and thus preventing frizziness. Uh, almond oil is a great great oil as a sealant and is one of my recommended uses and one of my main uses for the oil and um, the reason why I say it's a great sealant is that it's very lightweight so for those with the thinnest bonus straight of relaxed hair it will still not weigh down your hair as opposed to you know other thicker oils might do and um, it's also odorless it's colorless so it's just a an oil that you can apply to your hair that you know, you you don't you won't get hung up on smells or colours or any of that sort of silliness. It's just a nice oil to apply to your hair, no matter what your hair type, it won't weigh your hair down. Another great general use for almond oil is to use it as a carrier oil. And if you've watched my previous videos, such as my video on peppermint oil and tea tree oil, I'm always recommending to dilute these oils with a carrier oil. And almond oil is one of the carrier oils that you can dilute. Um, so you know. As it's odorless and it's colorless you know uh, almond oil is also a great oil to use uh, for scalp mix or hot oil treatment because of its lightweight qualities it's not going to block your hair follicles when you apply it to the scalp you know and blocked hair follicles basically hinder growth so you don't have to worry about that with almond oil so for those that you know are not a fan of castor oil for example because of its thickness almond oil is a great alternative Again, for your scalp mix, you just mix it with a bit of peppermint oil, and as you know, peppermint oil helps promote growth. You know, apply that bad boy to your scalp, and you're good to go. It's very easily absorbed into the scalp, so it's not just going to sort of sit on the top of your head and feel sort of heavy and sluggish, as some people complain that castor oil does. Uh, another great use of castor oil is to use it as an actual hair serum. Um, a hair serum is basically a sort of it's a it's a thick consistency. Of liquid that you apply to your hair that normally advises that it will prevent frizziness um, and often or not it will be a heat protectant also um, and for those who have thick hair like mine you know controlling and keeping down frizz is a main priority of us um, so I'm a bit of a serum ban bandit I'd say. Almondol is a great alternative because unlike many serums out there, it doesn't contain silicones. Um, and I will do a video shortly on, you know, silicones and what the effects of on the hair, etc, etc. But in short, a lot of people during their hair journey choose to go on a sort of silicone diet or just plain out teetotal on silicones. So, you know, if you're one of them people and you still want a natural shine and sleekness to your hair and all the benefits of a serum, but you don't want the silicones that come with a serum, Almond oil is your friend, so you know definitely try out almond oil for that, and you know see if it works for you. It definitely works for me. Another reason why I love, 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 love almond oil, and maybe it's just a frugal sort of cheapskate in me, but the main reason why I love almond oil is because it's very, very cheap. Um, it's actually one of the cheapest oils I'd say that you can have in your cabinet during a hair journey. Uh, and also it's very widely available, you can get it at your local supermarket, your local chemist, your local health supply store such as Boots or Superdrug which is in the UK, uh, 
you know any black hair shop I've been to has it so you know you're good to go no matter where you live or you know for any convenience you know you can go and grab almond oil pretty much anywhere um, you can buy it in small quantities so in my local black hair store they sell it for about a quid or two quid and you get about 200 mils which isn't that much um, or you can buy it in larger quantities on eBay and Amazon again you know we're talking five six quid so you know not a lot of money for what I believe is a great oil thanks for watching guys I hope you found this video helpful and that you know you'd consider incorporating sweet almond oil into your hair regimen uh, I've recently opened up my channel to accepting comments so you know if you have something positive to say on the video you know or any constructive feedback I'd appreciate it or if you've got a question to answer feel free to leave it in the comment box and I'll definitely try my best to you know get an answer out there to you if you've got any specific videos requests that you'd like um, again comment box um, so comment your heart away um, if you are finding these videos helpful please feel free to subscribe like the video etc etc so yeah thanks for watching guys um, more videos to come um, I'm really annoyed because I really did have a good video on the benefits of avocado oil um, which I'm going to have to now record because my laptop's broken down but won't worry about that but what I'm really annoyed about is in the original taping of that video I had my hair flat ironed and I've noticed that you guys haven't seen my hair flat ironed um, and also I just had a relaxer the day before so it was really straight and I really want to show you guys and now I'm gutted I can't and my next relaxer's not going to be to January but whatever whatever um, but yeah, I will try and do a video soon with my hair flat ironed, um, maybe around Christmas time, a bit earlier. Um, and I will also try and do a relaxer update, um, just, you know, checking on my length, etc, etc. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned.